What is up YouTube, Esboss here, back once again to bring you my very first Let's Play of Journey. Uh, needless to say, I'm extremely excited to start playing this because from what I've seen, the reviews that it's been given are very, very positive across the board. Um, since I am a PlayStation sub, uh, Plus subscriber, like I did mention in my last video, you were able to download the game a week early, which is awesome. Uh, you also got a free dynamic theme uh, background, which you can see. Uh, it's very, very cool. I assume it's just concept art for the game. Uh, so without further ado, let's get started here. There it is, Journey. And yeah, let's start it up. Don't care about that. So yeah, this game was developed by that game company. Uh, I believe the last game that they made was also PS3 exclusive. It was called Flower. Uh, I assume everyone that played it was either high or intoxicated in some form because it's very trippy. Uh, this is another sort of artsy game, but uh, as some reviewers have said, it's more, it's more of a traditional game than uh, that game company is used to doing. But yeah, they say it's very beautiful, very awesome environments. It's a pretty short game, about two to three hours, but I really don't care because I hear that the short game length does not really matter. So let's see. Online agreement. Whatever. I guess I have to scroll all the way down. Let's see if we can do it faster. No, we can't. I assume that I'm just gonna have to agree to this. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Okay, I accept. Nobody, nobody ever fucking reads it. Okay. I'll shut up now. Press start. <sighs> and we will begin our journey. I'm going to try and say as little as possible because I hear the soundtrack is amazing and just the game. It's very beautiful, so I don't want to ruin it with my horrible voice. So I'll probably, like I said, I'll just try to talk as little as possible. I'm going to try and do this in one continuous playthrough, since it is a relatively short game, I'll see what I can do. It is about 2 o'clock in the afternoon, so I should give me plenty of time to finish this game in one sitting. The Nameless Voyager. Let's see. Use six axis. Oh, okay, so use the six axis to look around. Very cool. Just tilt the controller back and forth. We can look around the desert environment. Maybe we can start moving. Oh, you can. Okay. Wow. The sand displacing at my feet looks very, very good. Let's see if I can jump. Nope, not yet. They haven't given us that instruction yet. I assume I'm just going to have to go up there. I can still move the camera around with the six axis. That's pretty cool. But, yes, you can also use the right analog stick, which is also nice. Get to the top of this hill here, see what's up there. I'm gonna have to get up there. And the title. Okay, see so if you can still move around. It's funny. Let's go. Slide down the desert. Oh, that looks so oh, looks so cool. Okay. See, so yeah, whenever you go down a uh, one of these hills where it's got a, a descent. You sort of do a sliding animation, which is very cool. I see something in the distance there, so let's go over there and see what it is. I 
I doubt there would be anywhere else I'd have to go. I also hear that the online elements in this game are really innovative and unique and original, where you are connected to the internet, you're connected to the PlayStation Network, and uh, throughout the game you have a chance of seeing uh, another player who is around the same or, or around the same uh, level as you and you can sort of you know go through this journey together you don't know the person's you know like PSN ID or anything like that and the only way to communicate with them is through singing or at least that's what I hear where you press a button and you can communicate with them like that so let's, let's see if I can jump oh okay so it does it by itself let's move the camera around let's go around here see what's up Assume I have to go in here. Or not. I'm just messing around to see where I have to go so far. Maybe there's nothing in here. And let's go to the top of this desert here. I... Oh, okay, there's something over there. I completely missed that. Okay, let's go down to the desert hill. Yay. Fun. Very pretty. There's the mountain over there in the distance. I assume that's my objective for this whole get entire game is to get up there. But I'm not sure. Uh-oh. There's wind. Oh, God. Damn. Okay. Maybe we should not go that way. Let's go back. find something of use over here. So you can explore within reason. There are certain bounds, I guess. In the form of a sandstorm. Uh-oh. I see something over there. What are these things? Hello. Pressing buttons. Oh! Uh-oh. Press circle. Sort of sing a note. What if I hold it? Awesome. Okay. And I assume that increases the length of my scarf, but I'm not sure. I hear that the length of your scarf determines how high you can jump and how far you can glide. Let's sing again. Oh, okay. That's cool. Well, I'm not quite sure what I'm supposed to do with those things, but yeah, let's go back and find out if I can do anything. Let's try it again. You can float. Can they connect? Okay, I guess not. Let's go back to this building, see what there is over there. I probably missed something completely obvious because I'm just talking this entire time and ruining it for everyone. Let's go in here again. Let's see what happens when I sing again. Nothing. Can I press any other buttons? No. Okay. Oh, there we go. Hold it. Stairs, see what's up there. Just in case there's something I missed up there, also. Mm, doesn't seem like it. Okay. So let's go over to that building again, see if we can get past it now. Ooh, rolled. I assume I'm not supposed to be going down there, but let's find out. This is sort of self-exploration, they don't tell you where to go or what to do, which I think is nice. It's a nice change of pace from games that hold your hand. Oh, so you are supposed to go down here. Sliding again is so much fun. Okay. Let's click. Let's see what we can do with these guys. Jump up. Okay, you can't jump. There. Fun. 
<laughs> okay. Enough pulling around. We have a job to do. What is this thing? Can I jump yet? No, I cannot. I don't think I can. So let's sing. I see those little scarf things in there. But I, I cannot get to them. Yep, they're stuck in there. So let's explore some more. See what we can find. Anything over there? Probably not. Okay. More pieces of the scarf over there. Do anything when I'm up here. I guess not. Can they follow me around? Not quite. Okay. Well, let's go up here anyway. I see something else. What happens if I sing near it? Nothing. Okay. So let's hold it. And then, oh, there it is. Oh my god, that's a lot. Okay, so let's hold it. Yeah. Oh my god. That's awesome. Oh, I am flying forever. Okay made it over here. Let's see what happens when we sing again. <sighs> Pretty. Okay. Let's stand in the middle here. Like I said, I'm trying to talk as little as possible so you guys can immerse yourself in the beauty that is Journey. Yeah, that's a good excuse for not talking. Gate. Coolio, let's go. I wonder if this is going to be like Limbo, where there's just one continuous game and there's no loading screens or anything. That would be interesting. I would like that a lot. Oh, uh oh. I spoke too soon. 